Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. This is everything I picked up from two car boot sales this morning. Our trench lane car boot has restarted for the season. Now this is traditionally our big car boot in the area. Easter Compton has always been a small one and in the summer trench lane gets large. Didn't really run last year at all. It didn't run the year before I think because of Covid and then last year it never really got started. It had about three or four stumbling attempts at a car boot that were all a bit disappointing. So good to have it back although obviously it was small today because it's the first day they don't advertise it brilliantly so it takes a while for people to know it's happening so I'm going to do one of those Ben Fitzpatrick things some of you who are OG resellers will remember Ben Fitzpatrick did fantastic pickup videos and he always had a table full of stuff and then he would do that and another table full of stuff would appear so this first table here is my first pickups from Easter Compton this morning and then we'll do trench afterwards so I got these two tops these are for me Love a bit of animal print. Woman of a certain age, love a bit of animal print. It is a zebra print in khaki. It's from Capsule, which is a catalogue company. You buy that through Simply Be in places like that. I paid £5 for these two tops. So there's that one, which that feels unworn, by the way. It feels in really good condition. And this one also feels very nice condition, but probably has been worn a little bit. And this one is due at Sainsbury's. Just a striped. This is a, a jersey knit, this one. So £5 for those two. I've recently had a clear out and got rid of some more of my clothes, so always good to get more. Plus, now that I can buy clothes more easily, I'm very much enjoying shopping more. Okay, in no particular order then. 50p for a slow down, you greedy bastard dog bowl. We had one of these for Molly when she was a puppy. They work an absolute treat and, and they always sell reasonably well. 50p, that'll sell for five, six pounds. So you're happy with that. Just a bread and butter pickup. He was free when I bought the Quirkle, which you'll see in the back there. The guy said, oh, you can have that for nothing. So he does need a wash. He's a bit grubby. Um, what brand are you? He's got a tag, but no brand tag. But yeah, he's got to, I've got to go through the wash, but he, he cost me nothing. Five pounds for these two items. I got this floral kettle. I think it's just a Chinese brand, but I thought it was quite nice. It's um, ceramic, ceramic electric kettle. And the brand is, um, you watch me butcher this now, Yahweh City Waiko Electrical Appliance Company. I am sorry to those people for getting your name so horribly mispronounced. But yeah, that was, it was £5 for this and the phone that's coming up next. So there's that one. So the other thing that was in with the fiver is this BT home phone with answering machine, the Decor 2500. And it is the same one in the box as on the front of the box which is not always the case when you pick them up at car boot sales you quite often find that when people have bought themselves a new phone they've chucked the old phone into the new phone's box and taken it to car boot sale but that is the correct one in the box um not sure bear with 16.99 for that they're going for so that's okay those two things for a fiver happy with that okay two pound from the same lady for this pair of sketches she had two pound on all of her shoes so they are Sketches Relax Flit Air Cooled Memory Comb, Memory Comb? Memory Foam, not Memory Comb. What would a Memory Comb do? Remember which style you liked your hair and do it for you. Anyway, £2 for those. And she chucked in that for free. So it was a good day for people going, oh, you can have that for nothing. Well, I was already buying the other stuff from her. She said, oh, and I said, how much is your swim vest? And she said, you can have that for now. So that cost me nothing. That's got an unusual lump here. One of the, one of the bits of padding, I think, is moved on that so i shall have to work out how to shuffle it back the bit of padding there that's that can you see it's shaped here and it should be round there so i'll have to excuse the dog in the background buddy thinks he can hear something now buddy can't hear anything and what that's done is it's made him react to things that aren't happening just in case <laughs> there i've maneuvered that padding back round. that was quite straightforward so yeah that didn't cost me anything these sell for about seven or eight quid so again it's a bread and butter item and if it costs you nothing then not to be sniffed at. And then I paid one pound for this Your Evening Class French course. This was from Sarah, who does the car boot with Steve, the car boot guy. It's a bit dusty inside. Somebody's had it open on display because all the dust is on the inside. That's very odd. But it's um, CDs in a nice little wallet, and then all the books that go with it. And that was a quid. Maybe I'll learn something. Maybe I'll learn. Maybe I'll learn myself French. Maybe I'll teach myself French. Learn yourself something. That's a good bit of Bristolian. I'll learn e. 
I paid, this, this was a charity stall for Blonde Angels Street Team. They go out and they um, distribute stuff for the homeless people. And this particular stall, she raises the money and then she invests it in Greg's cards and gives them to the Street Angels team and they give them out, which is something that I did last year. You may have seen the video for that. I put the video out in February, I think, for all the money I'd found last year. I think it's a, it's a nice way, and I was talking to the lady about it, it's a lovely way to be able to help homeless people while still giving them some autonomy of choice. That It's nice... Just because you're homeless doesn't mean you have to have a ham and cheese sandwich because that's what someone decided you should have. Why shouldn't you have the, the um, choice to go in and choose the item of food that you want? So, um, so yeah, that's a, a useful thing to be able to do. So I'm pleased to be able to support those people. Now, I know Josh brought some stuff off there. She wanted 50p for the two. So obviously I said, no, I'll give you, you know, I'll give you a bit more. So, so uh, pocket scrabble. And this is an interesting mug. It says runner beans on it. Let me just drop that. It says runner beans and it is actually beans running. And it is by Minter Kemp. I have no idea of value on that one at all but it was cute. This went into Josh's filler bag. I didn't do filler bag because there wasn't anything to interest me apart from this. So this went into Josh's filler bag, cost me nothing, but I did get Josh some Bohemian crystal or some, some kind of crystal cut glass, salt and pepper from another store for a quid. So, you know, we're, we're all good. We balance out. 50p for a boggle. That is new and sealed. That has never been out of its wrapper. Was it 50p or was it a pound? It was a pound. I'm telling you lies. It was a quid. And a quid for this molten brown. It's not going. That's not going to focus. I don't think. Oh, there we go. Delicious rhubarb and rose hand lotion. I don't think it's been opened yet. There's absolutely nothing in the pump. Can you see the end of the pump there? There's nothing in there, so that's not been pumped at all. And two pounds for a potato rice. If you saw one of my videos last week in which I was making mashed potato, you'll know that I think every home should have a potato ricer. They change your life. They definitely change your mash. This one has whoop, two different size discs in there. So you choose which size of disc you want. And then you pop the spuds in, squeeze them through, and you get smooth mash with no lumps. So that was two pound. I couldn't find a brand on that. Unbranded. Another bag. It was very nice to bump into a viewer today. I didn't ask her name, but I think her husband called her Shelley. So hi Shelley, nice to see you. Um, I bought three pairs of shoes from her husband. She put her husband in charge of the shoe department. He looked absolutely horrified. He, he was like, I don't think this is my department at all. But, um, he asked for £10 for these three pairs. So I've got a pair of Jack Wolfskin boots. Uh, I think they're ladies because they've got pink trim on. Not that, you know, you do you. You wear whatever bloody colour you want, mate. But also, I, th I don't think they're a massive size. So they're a UK 8, which also implies that they're probably a ladies. Because men's 8s are less common. So Jack Wolfskin boots and a pair of Hotter Mary Jane style. What name are these? All Hotter shoes have a name inside. These are called Wiltshire and they're a standard fit. There we go. In a kind of a coraly rusty colour. Hmm. And then also from that same lady and gentleman, these are Clark's Artisan heeled shoe boots. Shoe boots. Shoe boots. Boot shoes. So, lovely to meet you guys. Thank you for those. One pound from another stall for this pair of M&S Peep Toe Suede Summer Cork Sandals. It's been quite a shoey day. I go months without buying any shoes. Three pound from the house clearance guy for this Radley bag. I'm not 100% sure it was worth my three quid. It's a little bit tired, aren't we all? Hmm. There's the tie bit there, which should have something else on it, and yet it isn't there. That's odd. Should have the dog on it. But yeah, three pound for that, and like I said, it's a little bit weary. But hopefully it'll come up nice and clean, and be worth three pounds. It's quite a nice bag, nice size. Not so big that you put too much crap in it and end up putting your back out trying to carry it. Bit of fluff in the pocket but no dirt inside. I would say it's been a little bit, very little used, it's just got a bit dusty over time. I paid a pound for a vintage 1980s cassette case, it has a little split here. The guy wanted two quid and I was going to put it back and he went oh you can have it for a pound. And I said to him oh you know I, I was looking at it and thinking it's, it's, a, it's a little bit damaged but then it's from the 80s and aren't we all? <laughs> the 80s did a lot of work on some of us. The Quirkle that I mentioned earlier, this is new and sealed and the guy wanted £2 for that and then he chucked in the comforter free of charge, so that was a nice find. 
I've definitely run out of space. I filled that second bag in seconds. And then this is probably the find of the day. Very last minute from the Easter Compton car boot sale. These are Emma Bridgewater Matthew Rice Design cake tins, cake and biscuit tins. I always recognise the Matthew Rice illustrations. And then on the top it says duck eggs, also good for baking, as are ducks, but not in cakes. The spatula is a friend of children, but the enemy of the waistline. On the side somewhere, I was reading it earlier on. <laughs> there we go. Can you see that? It says cake tins prevent unwelcome scenes like this. And there's a dog wandering off with half a fruit cake in his mouth. And then on the other one, it says, even if you don't like duck eggs for breakfast, they make delicious cakes. Homemade cakes will always be a welcome present and received with open arms. You could even iced bought cake and cheat. Some people prefer their cake uncooked. Let them lick the bowl. Dog last. <laughs> so yeah, they were lovely. They were a pound for the two. I was pleased to bits with them. Pleased to bits? Can you be pleased? Chuffed to bits. Very pleased. Chuffed to bits. To get those for a quid. They're probably the find of the day. And now, as if by magic, table two. Okay. I bought two things from the second car boot sale that I'm not showing you guys today because I want them for other people. So, um... Don't know why I bother mentioning it really. Anyway, they were for things that will make suitable gifts. So I did get another tin of denial. This is receipts for money I used to have. This is from the Brightside range. I pick these up fairly frequently. I have never once successfully got one as far as eBay. As fast as I pick them up, you guys buy them. Every single time I get one of these, somebody messages me and goes, can I buy that tin? So we'll see if I get this one as far as eBay or if there's still somebody out there who wants one. <laughs> I need a bag. I got this genie bottle. I bought one of these a while ago and I dropped it and I broke the stopper and the neck of the bottle. This one I think is less old than that one because it has a rubber, well a plastic screw on there to help keep it in. And I don't think, I think that probably denotes that it's not that old. It says on the bottom, Deposé. So let me have a quick look it up. Oh, look at that. 22 pounds, the very first, the very first result that comes up at the top there, 22 pounds. And then somebody sold two for 95 pounds. So I take it all back. I am very pleased with it. It's not a piece of rubbish, chuffed a bits with that. Someone sold one for 44.99. Does that plastic screw top not mean that it's that new then? Don't know. Don't know. A paid, drum roll please, one pound. And this was after Josh had walked around and gone, there's nothing here. <laughs> Something else that wasn't there because there was nothing there is a rather nice number of Denby mugs. These are the Imperial Blue and I've forgotten what this shape is called. I have got I'm asking for trouble stacking them on. Are you watching me smash them now? You know I always smash stuff. I've got seven of this shape. Would have had nine, but there was another lady standing there and she said to me, did you want all of them? Because my son's just moved into house and he'd love a pair. And I was like, absolutely, you buy a pair. You do not need, to, I do not need all of them. So they were, the lady was asking two pound per pair. So I've got nine, sorry, seven of that shape. Two of this shape, slightly different. And then she also had this one, which I made up the extra pair with. So this is a Johnson Brothers Born to Shop and it says, I no longer sticky skinny dip, I chunky dunk. That's a bit accurate. And it comes with the lid, which becomes a coaster. So 10 quid for all of those mugs. That was a very, very nice pickup. And I was more than happy for the lady to have the two that she wanted. There really isn't any need just to hoover it all up and not let anybody else have it, is there? However, whether I can put them away without turning them into mosaic, whole other story. Last time I had one of these, I broke it. Let's put that somewhere safe. So yeah, that, so yeah, that was lovely for a tenner. That was a nice tenner's worth. And then the only other thing that I bought at that boot sale, I said, apart from the two things that I don't want to show you, was this Evans winter coat. It's in very nice condition. But all its buttons, all its poppers are, are there, it zip works. The lady wanted four pounds, I didn't even bother haggling, I thought four pounds was very reasonable. I think it's a size 26, was it a 26? 24. So it might fit me. I don't really need a winter coat if I'm honest, especially not since we're not about to just have summer. 
it would fit, it would be a bit snug. Unfortunately, I'm at the point now where I'm a 20 here and still a 24 down there. The, um, the old pear shapedness is becoming more and more obvious. But it is a nice coat, it was £4. It smells okay, you know, it hasn't been stored for ages, sometimes they smell a bit fausty. So I might, might list that straight away, I might wait and list it closer to winter because at the end of the day, once it's on, you can forget about it, can't you? That's it. That is the haul and all of the haul. I'm very pleased with everything I've got today. I thought I think I've done really, really well. I had to go to the cash point. I had to, I had to mug Josh at one point for twenty quid to pick up something for Lex, um, because I hadn't taken enough money with me. And I, and I, was, I said to Lex, "Do you want this?" And she said yes. And so I had to mug Josh for money. Bless him. He takes a lot of money to the car boot, even though he doesn't want to spend it. And um, and then I had to go to the cash point in between car boots so that I could pay him back and get more cash for the second one. But I'm really, really pleased with with my pickups today. Going to have to have a bit of a listing drive at some point and, and fire through and get some more stuff on because I'm not listing as fast as I'm buying. Thank you for joining me and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.